and welcome to Luther Mabel's Closet. My name's Jane and this is my channel where I share all my dressmaking projects and things I've been up to. And if you just found me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell and then you'll never miss out on any of my, my videos that I do bring out. So I've just made myself this pretty little dress out of a vintage duvet cover, as you do. And I thought I'd share it with you, so please stay tuned. So hi and welcome back. So before I continue, I am just testing out a brand new microphone that's now situated on top of the camera now instead of being attached to my body because I've had umpteen problems with that microphone where I've had quite a few of like noise issues coming from what I've been wearing against the microphone and umpteen times I've had to re-record everything which has been a bit of a pain. So I've got a brand new microphone which there's no cables, no wires, so I'm hoping this should be a lot better for me. My lovely husband John bought me it, so he's so sweet. He spoils me, seriously. So yeah, what have I been doing? Well, I thought I would get this vintage duvet cover out that I've had for absolutely eons. It's been on my shelf, sitting looking at me for quite some time, a few, few years. And the other day I was feeling a little bit, what shall I do? I didn't have anything planned, I didn't have any you know no projects planned as such it was just one of those days where I just came across, I think John had John went for a little lie down and I just thought oh, what can I do for a few hours to pass the time of day as you do or as I do can't sit still and I spotted this fabric that was on my shelf I think I was tidying a few of my fabrics up I think a few of my fabrics had fallen down something like that or I know what I was doing I was changing the extension you know the extension sockets that you have where you can put all your different like plugs on one one extension gang and the one that I had which was plugged to the back of all the fabrics had six sockets and the one under my computer only had the four and I needed to swap the sockets over because the one under the computer had lots has lots more plugs to plug in you know so I unplugged them and when I unplugged the socket that was like plugged behind the fabrics I knocked all the fabrics off that's it and revealed this fabric so it was meant to be and I thought do you know what I'm going to make myself a dress out with this duvet cover I, I, seriously duvet covers I'm not sure what size duvet cover I think this might have been a single I'm not sure but just because I just cut into it I didn't really look but I've still kept the the popper section so maybe we can I can tell uh, I can't really tell but there's the the closure section with the popper still on. I think it was a single, but you get so much fabric on a duvet cover, it's unreal. I mean, a double size or even a king size, you get mountains of fabric. Really good value for money. Even if you bought a brand new duvet cover, you get so much more fabric for your money and it's always good quality but this is a vintage one i'm not sure it's got a very retro very 70s vibe going on i think i'm not sure how old it is uh, it could have even been my nana's i'm thinking but my mom i was talking to my mum this morning when i went down to show her and she doesn't think it was one of my nana's because she can't quite see my nana having this on her bed so i'm not sure maybe i got it from a charity shop years ago i just cannot remember and i just thought it's fallen off the shelf it's a sign, I need to make something, I'll make something with that. And um, I thought, what can I make? And I just thought I'd rustle up my primrose dress. So this is mark two of my primrose dress. I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing my dress, of this dress obviously in the garden, and how I've, I've managed to style it with a few other things. But if you can't remember, this is the primrose dress that I drafted for myself. I think it was before Christmas. Uh, it's got the zip up the back and it's got the ruffled neckline, ruffled hem on the sleeves, uh, a couple of darts in the bodice, a, 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 a quite a fitted bodice and then the gathered skirt with the pockets. Absolutely love this dress and this is going to be a pattern down the line. Um, and all I did with this one was a slight tweak on this one. I just lowered the neckline a fraction, I think it was half a centimetre, just lowered it just slightly so I didn't feel as if it was right up my neck um, and I'm quite happy with that it's very little difference you can't really see much difference and that's the only thing I did differently I'll stand up and show you but as I say I'll pop some pictures up 
and how retro is this fabric i absolutely love it i've actually got a bit of a pen mark on it when i was redrafting the pattern managed to get a bit of a biro pen but that'll wash out and got the pockets in and the zip at the back and i absolutely love it my nana would be proud and yeah i'm, I'm addicted so i can't wait for the charity shops to reopen because i'm going in those charity shops and i'm going to start looking at the bedding section and um just, just i just love it absolutely love it john didn't believe it was a duvet i had to show him the popper section he thought i'd rustled it up from just some fabric off my shelf and i went yeah but it was a vintage duvet he said no i said it was so i had to show him the, the poppers and my mum's i went obviously i said like i said before i went and showed my mum this morning because she likes to see what i've made and she straight away she went oh that's gorgeous wow it's lovely the fabric and i said it's a duvet and then that's when she said she didn't think it was would be my nana's duvet because she couldn't quite picture my nana having this bright floral duvet on her bed but super thrilled so the only thing I need to do which I forgot to do I forgot to top stitch my ruffle down so it's, it pops up it pops up a little bit I forgot to top stitch just along the top of the of the ruffle there and it keeps the ruffle down and I forgot to do it on this so I need to when I take it off I just need to go back in and just top stitch the seam allowance so the seam allowance is pressed upwards and I just need to catch catch it there and it just stops the ruffle popping up but um yeah I absolutely love it I love the ruffle on the neck and it's just so me and of course it's floral and it's definitely me and I just so feel so pretty in it and it's what if, it's a fabulous quality I think it's 100% cotton I'm not sure fabulous quality really good sturdy fabric and it's going to wash super well as well obviously it's a duvet cover so i can imagine it'll probably last me some time and i'm addicted to it i love it so i've just popped the sun shining today uh, but it's still that breeze is a little bit cool so i've just popped on a long sleeve skinny skinny tee underneath and just to keep that chill off but i've got some other uh, pictures there of me styling it with some of my crochet capelets just to give you an idea of how you can style this type of dress and obviously I've also had my little skinny rib my little skinny rib knitted grandad vest I had this on this morning I went to the local because obviously we can get out and about a little bit more now just went to our local uh, DIY shop and it just needed some paint so I had this on on top and it looks quite cute a little bit clashy but a bit red on pink it looked quite cute so as you can see i popped some pictures of, of me wearing it so obviously i've got it on my own on its own but again without a, without anything underneath it'd be really pretty for the summer this is going to be such a gorgeous dress i love the style of dress anyway so i'm definitely going to be making in some linen a lovely linen lightweight linen i think it's going to be gorgeous and then i've obviously got my long sleeve top on underneath and then i've also tried it with my honeycomb crochet snug so that's the pink one so pink on pink i thought let's do a little bit more clash colors i quite like that look and then i've also popped on my antique white woodland walk capelet well that picks out obviously the white in in the flowers and uh, yeah i just absolutely love it so you know sometimes fabric can be quite expensive and especially if you're new to dressmaking and you don't want to spend a fortune on fabric just in case you make a mess or you make a few mistakes or it knocks your confidence well you can always try a duvet cover you may even have some duvet covers in your linen cupboard that you could literally have a go at sewing with because you know you're not having to fork out any money for anything like that and you can get some really good secondhand bedding in the charity shops for a few pounds and it's not costing you an arm and legs and if you do make you know if you don't do very well with your sewing then you haven't spent a fortune either i don't want to take it off i'll be wearing it throughout the summer obviously with bare arms and it's a dress length so it just comes to my knee as you can see so i can wear it in the summer with some sandals get my legs out and bare legs and what have you i think it'll go quite nice maybe with some leggings I'm not a great lover of leggings, to be fair. I do have a pair, I have a black pair, but I'm not a great lover of them, but I, I will wear them. 
but yeah, I'm just so thrilled with it. So if you've never thought of maybe making something with a duvet cover or just some bedding, sheets, another, you get so much fabric in a bed sheet as well. And especially if you bought it from a charity shop, so it's not costing you an arm and a leg. And yeah, so I can't wait, I can't wait for the charity shops to open. I'll be in those doors, going straight to the bedding section next time. One of the reasons that um, also prompted me into using this, because my poppy uh, pinny for the pattern testing is just complete. It's just literally finished a few days ago and all the lovely ladies have obviously done the pattern test for me. And some of them used duvet covers, some of them used tablecloths. And I just thought how, in, how industrious, how frugal to reuse and um, recycle, upcycle these fabrics. And then, so when this fell off the shelf, I thought, genius, I'm gonna use this fabric. It's been sitting looking at me. So, and it's also, what's also done is, by me using one of the fabrics off my shelf, I've just given myself a telling off because it's just absolutely ridiculous amount of fabrics. Although they do look pretty stacked up on the shelf, they do. And, you know, I come in my room and I see all these pretty fabrics all neatly stacked. It's not very good, is it, to have all these fabrics just sat there for months on end, years, years on end and not being made into something so I told myself off I'm not buying any more fabrics I don't need to buy any more fabrics and I'm going to work my way through all of those fabrics and when the shelves you know are looking a little bit more empty then um, I may consider getting some new fabrics but I've got enough fabrics to keep me going for the next few years I'm sure so unless I see a duvet cover and that won't be classed as buying new fabric, will it? That'll be upcycling, recycling, being frugal. So, and also I thought I wasn't going to take part, but I this is going to be my entry for the Frugal Frocks challenge over on Instagram that you have to make yourself a dress with out of a free pattern. Well, it's a self-drafted pattern, so it's a free pattern and it's even more frugal because I'm using a duvet cover. So this is going to be my entry for the Frugal Frocks competition as well. So I've killed two birds with one stone. So I just had to come on here and share it with you. I just keep looking at in the monitor and I just absolutely love that 70s vintage vibe in that lovely big floral print. Yeah, I just love it so much. So hope I've inspired you maybe to look at other fabrics that you could use, upcycle and recycle, not just buy brand new. As I said, if you're new to dressmaking and you're confident, you know, your confidence is just growing, you don't particularly want to be spending a fortune on fabrics just in case. While you're learning, you don't really. So this is ideal. If you've got some fabric in your linen cupboard or if you can get to your charity shops, don't be going to my charity shop, so I'll be tackling you to the ground. <laughs> over the yeah uh, over the bedding section no I'd share it with you but yeah so I hope you liked today's video my little frugal dress made out of a duvet cover just wanted to inspire you and maybe give you a little bit more idea of what you can make and what you can create and if you love this style dress it will be coming out in a pattern sometime this year this is the primrose dress and if you don't follow me on Instagram pop on over there I'd love you to follow me over there say hi I would love you to come over and say hello and follow me over there because then you'll see daily updates on my outfits and how I style them that's it for today I didn't drink my coffee again did I never do uh, thanks for joining me hope you enjoyed today's little vlog Oh, thank you Geordie, there was Geordie and uh, thumbs up if you did enjoy today's vlog, I think Geordie did, didn't you Geordie? Yeah! Hopefully I'll see you on my next video and if you've made something out of a duvet cover or maybe some bedding let me know, share it in the comments box below because we all like to see what everybody's been making uh, but until the next time, thanks for joining me today, please take care and as always, happy sewing! <laughs>